Hello, my friends. D.L. Anderson here. Welcome back to Transformation by Truth podcast as we share the truth concerning these last days and what you must do to save yourself from the violent times that are just ahead. Today's podcast is a word of truth accounting of the end times. The end is coming. The end is near. Now, before I begin today's podcast, I want to say happy anniversary. Our most recent lesson, End Times 102, The Next Level, marked our 100th podcast in this virtual ministry. I thank the Most High because reaching this milestone was not on my mind when I launched this podcast ministry in 2021. I didn't have a lofty set of goals I wanted to achieve or personal aspirations concerning this ministry. It was simply an exercise of obedient faith to a command to take on an assignment I had been uniquely qualified to fulfill. However, when I realized the other day that I had created 100 podcasts sharing the most transformative truth the world has ever known. I had to take time to give praise to my creator for giving me the strength and the ability to continue unto this day. Because it's not so much about the destination and sharing 100 podcasts and videos that have been watched or listened to more often than 1,000 times by more than 100 unique viewers across the world. It's more so about the journey and who I was then and who I am now. And the fact that I have strength to create 1,000 more. And this we will do if time permits and the Father allows. After all, we are living in the last days. Now, today's podcast is entitled End Times 104. Building Blocks of Prophecy. The objectives are analyze the great danger in leaven, i.e. walking in error, reveal the downfall of the spiritual lives of many in these last days, analyze the power of truth and light, and analyze the importance of establishing a baseline of truth. The Great Danger in Leaven. Now that we have a fundamental understanding of the time mystery, that is, the difference between the end times and the last days, we must consider another key model of prophecy. Enter the building blocks of prophecy. By definition, the building blocks of prophecy is a spiritual order which reveals the prophetic word is established upon data points that are perfectly structured to where each line and each precept supports the other, providing the only factual accounting of prophecy and time. Now, the power in this model lies in its order. Vis-a-vis, if at least one of the building blocks of prophecy is not in order, this fault will not only lead to error, it will lead to compounded error, that is, error upon error, as opposed to line upon line. Now, here's our first treasure box in this lesson. The prophetic word is a complex puzzle that can only be solved by utilizing the correct pieces and ensuring each piece is in the correct place. This truth lends itself to why even one error is so devastating, especially when considering a topic as complicated and as critical as the end times. Here is why. As one error will always lead to additional error, the impact of a single error will never be limited to that error. Quite the contrary. All it takes is one error to compromise your understanding of any subject matter. For one error has the power to subject you to thousands more. 1 Corinthians 5, 6-7 through 7. 
Do you not know that a little leaven leavens the entire lump? Therefore, cleanse out the old leaven so that you are a new lump as you are unleavened. In line with this passage, we perceive the great danger in leaven. To wit, the longer we live in error, the more we decrease the prospects that we should eventually see and embrace the truth. This is why the Father commands us to cleanse out the old leaven. He is commanding us to reject all the errors and the lies we have inherited and held on to concerning the end times, for there is a time to throw away. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 6. For every matter, there is an appointed time, even a time for every purpose under the heavens, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away. Believe me, I understand how hard it is to realize you have inherited lies that you must throw away in order to be saved because I've done it. And not once or twice, I've had to do it many times. And you will too. When you do, a beautiful thing will occur. That is, all the building blocks of prophecy will naturally begin to align. And you will see the complex puzzle of the prophetic word clearly as you take your first major step in saving yourself in these last and evil days. The Downfall of Our Spiritual Lives You must believe me, deciphering the end times and seeing this complex spiritual puzzle come together right before your eyes is a more amazing and powerful occasion than most likely realize. Not only this, but you must also consider how the truth is not being revealed to everyone. For many who have an ear to hear aren't listening. Alas, many are not heeding the signs all around us, for they are distracted and bogged down by the cares of this life. And many are fast asleep. I want you to think about that for a moment. Consider how our world is on the verge of the greatest destruction it will ever experience. Consider how we are about to see more death and violence the world has ever seen and will ever see. Yet, despite these facts, many are too distracted to notice and others are fast asleep. The Father is sealing his chosen elect this very hour, revealing the truth concerning the end times to one and all. And nearly all the world is fast asleep. Listen and hear me carefully. Although this fault is commonplace, it is worse than most realize. For as powerful as the truth is to those who follow it, it is equally as damning to those who don't. Here is why. It is impossible to survive these last days if you are not walking in truth. Trust me, this inflection point will be clearer to see as we progress this series. For now, you should consider how truth is equated to light. Therefore, all who do not possess the truth are walking in darkness. John 8, 12, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall by no means walk in darkness, but possess the light of life. John 12, 35. Yet a little while the light is with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. And he who walks in darkness does not know where he is going. These verses clearly reveal the downfall of those who are not walking in truth. As they do not possess the light, they are overtaken by darkness and they will not have everlasting life. Not at all. They will be one of many casualties in these last days. 
This truism ups the ante on following the building blocks of prophecy and walking in truth. Lest we follow a broken path marred with error, a path that will be the downfall of our spiritual lives. A baseline of truth. Now, the model of building blocks is obviously not unique to prophecy. However, since we are considering matters of eternal life and eternal death, the value in this model is infinite, for only those who succeed it will find life. Here's a question. Understanding eternal life will only be found by those who know the truth concerning the end times. How do we use the model of building blocks to ascertain the truth? The answer, by establishing and building upon a foundation of truth in order to expose all the errors and lies on this critical topic. This is a command I have received from the Father, for not everyone is sleeping on the truth. As it has been prophesied, many are coming to the light. And like me, they know they have inherited lies, and they have unknowingly been walking in darkness for many years. Jeremiah 16, 19. O Yahuwah, my strength and my stronghold and my refuge, in the day of distress, the Gentiles shall come to you from the ends of the earth and say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and there is no value in them. The key phrase in this verse reveals, there is no value in them. That is, the lies that we have inherited, for they will not offer us life. They will only lead to death. No doubt this reality increases the stakes in establishing a foundation of truth that will allow us to eliminate all the errors and fallacies concerning the end times. Lest we find ourselves attempting to fit a square peg into a round hole. Trust me, whether in this case or any other, it is always more effective to establish a baseline of truth to combat and eliminate all the errors than to simply focus on the error. Here is why. Errors are as a blinding light. Ergo, the more you focus on the error, the more difficult it becomes to eventually see and embrace the truth. Listen to me. This is a most fascinating revelation that I trust you all see. Consider this. Although errors cause us to walk in darkness, they are not shrouded in darkness. If they were, it would be hard for our enemies to deceive us, for no one who has been called is seeking a dark path. On the contrary, we seek the light. Knowing this, our enemies have designed their errors to resemble light. They have created a diabolical system, a false scale where the wrong resembles the right as in the case of the parable of the wheat and the tares, which we will analyze thoroughly in future podcasts. And if you think that is bad enough, our enemies have created a vast army of false prophets and placed them all throughout the religious circuit. And they have armed these false prophets with endless and erroneous contra-doctrine in a dastardly attempt to deceive the entire world through the contaminated vehicle of the church, even the chosen elect. 1 Corinthians 11, 13 through 15. For such are false emissaries, deceptive workers, masquerading as emissaries of Messiah. And no wonder, for Satan himself masquerades as a messenger of light. It is not surprising, then, if his servants also masquerade as servants of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. 
Now we know the end of those who promote darkness. But allow me to reveal to you the end of those who are deceived by them. Alas, these will all incur spiritual blindness. And although many don't realize it, spiritual blindness is the worst case scenario of all human life, for it offers no prospects of recovery. Remember, the light given off by the error is a blinding light. Therefore, there is a point in this destructive process where you live in error for so long that you become blinded by it. You cannot distinguish this deceptive light from the saving light. And thus, you are outside the boundaries of salvation. Listen to me. This is what our enemies are counting on. They are so confident in their evil work, they are betting on it. They are putting all their chips on the table and they have nothing to lose. Be that as it may, just because they have ruined the lives of the wicked and the slothful does not mean they're going to ruin you. You'll need to stay in the saving light to defeat them and you must hold fast to all you know is true. Now, here is the final word. If you focus on truth and stay in the light, you will see every error and know what is right. Now, we are still early in this series, and there are tens of lessons I must share concerning what we will see in the upcoming seasons and years. And I understand this is what many of you are looking for. It is what many of you want to hear. Notwithstanding, you must prepare your heart and your mind to hear such that you can receive the truth and live. It's a process. It's called the building blocks of prophecy. I just completed an entire lesson revealing the power of this spiritual order and why you must trust this process. We'll arrive at the details and the unique prophecies of these last days very soon, and sooner than you might think. Until then, I will continue to lay a firm foundation, and I call upon all who have been chosen to endure the sound doctrine the Spirit has led me to share. Trust me, there are many revelations we will divulge and analyze in the upcoming weeks and months ahead. My ask is that you stay patient because we're getting there. Now, here is today's assignment. Meditate on the word you have heard today and ask the Father to reveal the truth to you. Remember, where there is no conviction, there can be no faith. And without faith, it is impossible to please him. Next, if the Spirit is leading you and you have not signed up for our mailing list, you can go to www.transformationbytruth.com to sign up today. We'll alert you as soon as podcasts are posted and we'll share our presentations, notes, and other materials at no cost. It is for your edification. And most importantly, you will be connected to me and those who have joined themselves to this ministry as we prophesy and align current events with the prophetic word. These discussions are taking place outside of this podcast ministry. Therefore, if the Spirit is leading you, and only if the Spirit is leading you, I encourage you to come and see. You will be in good spiritual company. Lastly, if you have any questions, please submit them via our contact form on our website. If you have any comments, please share those on the video page for this podcast, also on our website. Now, here is what's next. We completed today's podcast, End Times 104, 
Building Blocks of Prophecy. And the next podcast is End Times 110, Times and Seasons. I will post this podcast on Monday, April 17th, 2023. Until then, my friends, continue to be led by the spirit of Elohim. Continue to watch. Continue to pray. Continue in fasting. And most of all, continue to be focused. For the end is coming. The end is near. <laughs>